Hello guys! Like I said, I really wanted to do a corn snake care video, um, but I haven't really got the chance to do it until today, so I'm super excited because this is kind of the reason why I wanted to start vlogging again. I think I should take off my bracelet. Maybe that should be a fact. Take off your jewelry. <laughs> So I'm going to start from where they originate. They come from the United States. They are more in like Central and Eastern America and in captivity they live from 15 to 20 years. They're really popular for their bright colors and their different morphs. So for example, like Mo, he's like a bright orange, which I love. The corn snake's temperament is very calm, very docile, they're not usually aggressive. Um, and I would have to agree with that statement. Mo is super <laughs> nice, very easy to love. When they are younger, they sh tend to shed a lot more frequently than when they get older because they're growing so fast. So Mo is actually shedding about once a month. Um, and when he sheds, his colors dull out and his eyes become cloudy. So he, oh, sorry. Whenever they shed, you want to just double check their shed, make sure it's a full shed, meaning that the eye caps are also on the shed as well as like every scale. Because if it's not on the shed, it's probably on your snake. If your snake has stuck shed, it's not a big deal. You just want to soak them in a lukewarm bath. For him, I would say a quarter inch of water and um, let him sit for 15 to 30 minutes, and then once he's done, get a paper towel and just very lightly, excuse me Mo, can I use my finger? Thank you. Just lightly rub them so that the shed comes off. I never had to do that with Mo, but I had to do that once with Rhody. Feeding in their home or just a separate feeding container, that's all personal preference. People just like, always argue about that but I don't really see why it would be a big deal to feed in their home. I personally like to feed Mo in a separate feeding container because I like to um, clean his home and stuff while he's eating. So for bedding, I personally, I'm using Aspen shavings right now. It holds in humidity very well and it's also like a light blonde color so you can see his waist very easily or your snake's waist very easily so it's like super easy to just do spot checks. But on the downside, it is kind of dusty and um, too much dust is very harmful for the snake. And you can buy um, 24 quarts for $12 on Amazon and this is what I purchased but when I run out of this bag I'll probably switch over to coconut husk mulch which is the next thing that I'll be talking about and that also holds in humidity very well and it's a really nice brown color and it I'm mostly just switching over because it looks better but also since it's brown it's harder to just spot check He's so cute. Okay, time out. Look at how cute he is. <laughs> I'm gonna put him down. Okay, yeah, so where was I? You can also get that on Amazon, a 24 quart for $11.69. And that link will also be in the description. For humidity, they don't require a specific humidity level, but you just wanna make sure that it's not too dry or it's not too humid, because if it's too humid, then you know, they could get respiratory infections. During the shedding process, it would be very helpful to just lightly mist the home um, so that they can shed better. For the temperature, you wanna make sure that the cool side is 70 to 75 degrees, and then the warm side is 80 to 85 degrees. You just wanna make sure that there there is a temperature gradient because they are cold-blooded and they need to be able to cool off whenever they please and to heat up whenever they please. For housing, you should always keep... I would say that you should always keep a snake in its own enclosure because you don't know like what could happen if they're stressed out. I would just recommend leaving them in their own enclosure unless you're breeding them. You should always have two or more hides, um, one on the warm side, one on the cool side. I actually have three because um, one of my hides are a little too big for him right now, so um, he 
doesn't really go in that one, but he has three. And for the plants, you want to make sure that you're using fake plants or the plants that you're using are safe for your snake because you don't know what is harmful to them. But yes, I think that's it. If you guys have any questions or topics that I didn't really hit on, you guys can just comment and I will try to answer them. But I hope that you guys got a lot of information out of this. Um, I hope it answered a lot of questions. But yeah, okay, see you guys next time. <laughs>